Hi Leo, this is Kelly from Mupai Tarot with your love reading for January 2018. Happy New Year. Please do visit my website, moonpietarot.com. I have two special readings up now, 2018 Year Ahead Love Reading. Uh, you can choose that option to get the year ahead. And also, I still am running the How They Feel About You special, How the Other Person Feels About You special. And you guys can also follow me on Instagram for weekly general readings at Moon Pie Tarot. Or if you wish to contact me directly, you can download the Instant Go app from your iPhone app store. You can call me on the app from 4 to 8 p.m. Eastern Time for instant readings. Or you can chat or text with me to get quick answers. Okay, so Leo, let's get started on your reading. So I'm doing Leo next because you were the second highest in views for December's reading. Thank you so very much. And um, this is also for Leo Sun, Moon, or Rising. You can also check for Venus. Some of this may or may not resonate with you, so if it doesn't, do check your other signs. Um, and before I get started, I just wanted to tell you that I have a new deck. It's called the Crystal Visions Tarot. And that is the deck that I'm using now and probably will be using for the rest of the year. It actually, uh, <laughs> I don't choose my decks, they choose me. And uh, this one just called to me. I've been, I'm always searching for a new deck. And uh, actually, I've been getting clarifications that this is the deck for me. So I'm very happy to be sharing it with you. I'm sure some of you have seen it before. So let's start with your reading, your overall energy. For the month of January, you have the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like you're assessing a situation or assessing this a relationship or your life in general now to see if you've gotten, uh, if you were able to reap what you've sown in the past, um, to see if you have, with all the effort that you've put in or all the effort that another person has put in or both of you in a relationship, looking to see if you've really gotten out uh, if you've gotten a return in your investment, so to speak, in the relationship. Now, for some of you, this could have something, someone, be dealing with someone from your past that you've known quite some time, the Six of Cups. Could be someone from your childhood or a recent past or someone that you've been involved with for a while uh, that started a long time ago. And then also the six of swords is just making you're assessing whether or not to move forward to move on or to stay where you are and then of course I keep pulling cards i could pull them the devil card is here and so this is someone that there you could be involved with someone that you are very attracted to there's a very strong bond here with someone in particular or for some of you who are single now there could be someone from your past that there's a very strong bond with um and I feel like uh, it could all, some of you could be dealing with someone who is dealing with addictions or you yourself could be dealing with addictions and maybe trying to decide if it's time to move on um, from that lifestyle or move away from a relationship with someone who's dealing with that. So that's just the overall energy. Um, also maybe moving away from certain temptations or temptations that maybe have caused problems in a relationship or made it difficult for you to move forward, uh, to progress a relationship. I just see you taking stock of things during this time. Now, your past position, you have the full card. So there may have been this careless energy or this carelessness that was happening in a relationship. You may have been feeling carefree in the past or not taking anything serious too seriously you may have taken a risk in the past with someone or just in your life in general um, the full card when I look at this card you may have taken a chance on someone in your past that now you're beginning to reassess the situation if you made the right decision or if this is something that you want to do, it could be about if you want to get into a relationship, but this person could also be doing the same with the Four of Wands here. Um, some of you could be assess reassessing your marriage or your relationship or this commitment. With the Five of Swords challenging it in the challenge position, it's like, 
It's interesting how this card, I feel like the two of you may have been, and this is for those of you in relationships, the two of you may have been in um, hurting each other. You see how she has those swords in her back and he has those swords in his back. So, some damage, I mean, I feel may have been done in a relationship or a, a feeling of assessing the damage that's been done in a relationship presently. But you have the Page of Cups down here driving you. So that's an energy of wanting to reach out and give your love. And I feel like that other person wants to do the same. And they want to reach out to you, express their love to you. It's what's keeping them there. But, you know, I don't feel really like this is anything major. It's just there's some challenges and there's some reassessing that's happening about a relationship. If you're a single, um, it's a challenge in s challenges and reassessing about if you want to be in a relationship now at this time in your life. Because of past hurts, a fear of getting hurt again as well. Um, the... <sighs> The Seven of Wands, and I don't mean to sound like I'm, you know, not into it. I am. The Seven of Wands here is crowning you. And this card is talking about dealing with conflict and struggle, this defensive energy. And this is really your thoughts. You know, I feel like, Leo, you have in your mind, you know, you're like in your mind, you're, you're, it's like your mind's wanting to fight and argue and and make things right and fig, you know you're you're defensive you're defending yourself but you're you know what's driving you is love and i feel like you're trying to some of you may be trying to help someone that's dealing with a difficult situation in their lives either uh, whatever it could be and you know you're you're you've been fighting for this person for a long time and you're just, you know, asking yourself, can I keep doing this? Can I keep fighting? Am I able to keep doing this? Am I able to keep protecting this person? Um, or, or some of you listening who are listening for a Leo, uh, maybe, you know, asking yourselves the same question. Have I, have, did I give my best? Did I give my all? Did I fight to the end for this person? You know, some of you may have lost someone due to addiction in the past, and that's what that Six of Swords energy here is, this walking away, dropping the sword, you know, and this, not those swords are dropped, but still kind of holding on, but trying to let go and move on. But that Seven of Wands energy is really about conflict, you know, and fighting back. And that's like still in your mind. It's still present in your mind. Now your near future here, you have the Nine of Swords. So this energy is here talking about, you know, you just, I feel like you just want rest. <laughs> you're tired of thinking, you're tired of fighting, you're tired of, you know, um, you just want to be able to express your love and have that return to you. And you want that from another person as well. Okay. Uh, this you could be dealing with someone who is always fighting with you as well and it, and and you could be assessing do I do I can I keep doing this because it's it's exhausting with the nine of swords here it's causing difficulty sleeping you know your thoughts when you go to sleep at night you're maybe some of you are uh, dealing with trauma your thoughts are stress you've got stress energy still moving forward some of you may be asking yourself did I make the right decision by not like being conscious to my decision uh, getting involved with a particular person or staying married to this person you know I feel like a lot of you just kind of threw your cares to the wind and went with love and then you know now you have predicaments or there was trouble and either you're trying to come out of this troubling situation and it's you're just trying to get some rest 
because you're exhausted. The Page of Cups is telling you to just keep giving your love. Give your love. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Offer your love. Don't. You're Leo. I get it. You, you're a protector of the universe. You're wielding your sword. You're the sun. Everything revolves around you. You know what's best. You know what's right. And I'm not criticizing. Believe you because believe me because I have Leo in me. And so, you know, I get that, you know, you're a protector. You want to, you want to protect everyone, but you want to control in some way and you, and you want, because you know what's best and you know what's right. But that's not what people, that's not what someone needs from you. They need your love. They need your support and your love, not your swords. Okay. Cause you know, there's a sense of you're dealing with someone that um, is having trouble or this person is not getting it together, there's only so much you can do. And you can't really just keep protecting someone who's making bad decisions and, and things like that. I mean, you, you can to a degree, but, you know, if you're protecting so much that you that you have all this stress and anxiety energy happening still, then then you're losing yourself right so the position of you is the chariot card here and it's clarified by the lovers which is your advice so I see you making some type of a move I see you actually moving towards love and I, I see that that's what the best advice is for you to So just be loving and supportive as you can with this other person in your life um, and move in that direction move move with love move come from a place of love move towards love be an equal try not to be on higher or lower than this person whomever it is that you're dealing with I don't feel like I don't feel like you want to leave a relationship and I don't feel like you want to end a marriage. Okay. The five of swords is in the challenge position because there's just conflicts and things that you have to work through. There needs to be healing and love and forgiveness in this relationship, in this marriage. And for those of you who are single who don't have someone, this means with your family and to stop fighting with your family. And to start offering your love and support and your, you know, your heart. Because that's really all that they want. You know, love changes people. So in the position of, I'm sorry for the blur, it'll clear up. Uh, the position of, for those of you who don't have anyone, your environment is the two of pentacles. And the two of swords. So you have two swords here. So... Or you have two twos. So this is definitely, okay, so let's say if you're single and you're in, a, in your family situation or you're dealing with a friend, this is, this is with two people. This is you and someone else, okay? Um, somebody wants you to make a decision if you're going to stay with them or not. That's what this person wants from you. And this is also, if you're in a relationship, this is also what this person is doing as well. They're trying to make a decision. They're not, you know, they're actually with the two of swords, I feel like they're not making a decision with their mind. They're going with their heart and they're going to try to maintain balance and try to keep things going despite the trouble, despite the problems. I don't feel like this person wants to give up on you either. I just feel like you have some, you just have to balance things out. Find harmony, find peace. You see how she's using her cups? Of course you can't see because it it's not focusing. When I needed to focus, Anyway, okay. You see how she's balancing? She's The water's going in and out. 
And you know what's interesting about this deck? I love this deck. She's pouring water on that fire. And you're fire. So, so you know, water is soothing. Fire burns hot. And fire's not bad, right? But try to put a little soothing energy to balance things out. Don't try not to control the situation too much or to, um, you know, a little fire and a little water is always good and I feel like that's what you know in the position of your hopes and fears is I do feel like you struggle to do that because I I feel like it's hard for you when you know someone is having difficulty in a situation and you know what's the best thing for them to do and you just kind of want to grab them by the back of their <laughs> the you know their neck and and turn their head and say no go this way no do this this is what's going to work you know you kind of want to just push them in that direction but yeah, and I say it all the time and some of you even commented in some of my last videos because I can never get my analogies right um, you'll get more with honey than with what I always forget you'll get further with sugar than you will with I don't know sour whatever <laughs> a sweet smile giving your love is it manipulative sure but <clears throat> you know brushing your hair in the morning is manipulative because you're trying to look good <clears throat> it's not necessarily a bad thing you know you're not out to try to hurt anyone so I just kind of feel like the energy is telling you like whatever this situation that you've been dealing with in the past that you've really had your paws on and uh, whether it's a particular person or just a family situation um, especially with this devil card here uh, if someone's been making bad decisions or or, or, or just they're trapped or they're stuck in a situation that you're attached to the, you know the devil card it's just attachment you can't get away from that that's that's like you're in this bond with this person and you're you know you're stressed or they're stressing you out um, and you're needing to figure out you're needing to assess how am I gonna what do I do with this and the answer is is love that's the answer how do I handle this situation love that's the answer give your love not your control not your direction not your thoughts um, you know not your textbook style of how to get things done not your organization abilities you know just give your love because love heals everything right so your outcome you have the page of Pentacles so I feel like if you go ahead and take that route right this situation I know you want to argue I know you want to fight well you don't want to fight I mean I know you want the love but um, you do know what's best and if you take the route of giving your love and just being supportive and loving and, and not doing anything else but just doing that right then you'll have with the page of Pentacles your heart will start to sing you'll you'll find that sense of freedom that sense of relaxation okay and with the nine of wands you'll you'll end your battle you won't be uh, your battle will end is what I mean with this with a particular person or whomever you're dealing with the battle will end um, we'll come to a place where you say you know I'm I'm wounded I'm beat this person hurt me this person did this this person did that I need to forgive them I need to just love them and blah 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 and then you know you'll have your you'll have your scars from whatever the situation is but the nine of wands is like you're still going to be a fighter that's never going to change about you you'll still be battled and wounded coming back from war but you'll be at this place where now you're wiser okay and the wheel of fortune and everything actually will begin to turn in your favor so if you have a relationship that's been on the rocks or a marriage that's been on the rocks and and you're I feel like you're kind of like just about again at that place to step off that cliff to either make a decision to walk away from some this situation you're kind, you're not doing it you're just trying to figure out what do I do how do I handle it how do I how do I do it and, and so when I say give your love it doesn't mean that you should stop 
everything, drop everything for someone who's hurting you. I don't mean that. Uh, I just mean that, you know, love yourself as well as love the other person. Because if you're only loving the other person and you're not loving yourself as well, then you're codependent. Then you're giving too much of yourself. You have to have that time for you to take care of you. You can't take care of other people if you if you're not filling up your own, right? So I feel like, um, you know, the lovers and the devil here, these are two very similar cards in the sense that, you know, there's an attachment. Um, this one's a decision to be together. This one's like, oh, there's no choice. You're, you're going to be together. That's just the way it is. So you'll go from having this, okay, we're stuck now here it's for some of you you know if it's family um you, you don't have a choice because you can't choose them to getting to this point of asking yourself you know do i want to be with these people or not okay because that's what the lovers is that's a decision and uh for those of you who are in a relationship but you're not stuck through marriage contract or anything like that this is some type of a karmic bond that you can't seem to get away from so and it's stressing you out or it's causing extreme anxiety or what have you so i see you making a decision to love this person or not to love them so you're in you're in that decision mode for january and i feel like virgo was too it's very strange um i do see you wanting to fight for this relationship as well but i feel like um fight with fight with love right put your swords down just fight fight for their love by fighting with love and take care of yourself during this process. I feel like with this Wheel of Fortune, everything's going to work out. It will turn in your favor. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Gemini. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Uh, Capricorn. I'm just thinking maybe cancer did I say cancer I did um, but it doesn't have to be you know it could be those and it could be any other sign I'm not there's no kings and queens here so I'm just gonna keep it very general and I'm gonna leave your reading there for you now I hope I was able to help in some way I know it seemed a little hmm but leave do leave me some comments and let me know if this resonated for you in any way and um, again if you would like to reach out to me to get a personal reading um, again you can reach me at my website moonpytarot.com or download the instant go app um, and reach me there under moon Pie Tarot from you you can download the app only from your iphone right now and um follow me please on instagram for weekly readings as well they're general okay so thank you have a very happy new year leo and i will see you guys in february all right take care bye